Okay, so I have this pair, this is actually a pair of overalls, and they are designed with all of these holes in them, um, but it's just kind of getting to the point where they've worn out a bit much and some of the holes are ripping a little more than I'd like. I also have um, these holes in the thighs, right, and the crotch, they've just worn out. So I want to start mending the holes to kind of give the overalls a whole new look. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start just with this hole right here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is cut away, whoops, cut away all these um, strings. And then just kind of get an idea of what the shape looks like and decide if I wanna cut a little bit more. So I've kind of got this weird square. So I think I'm just gonna make a nice, even square, all right, somewhat even square. But I don't want any of these um, raw edges on it. So I at least wanna cut that away. Try not to cut much bigger. I'm also trying not to bump my camera. <laughs> trying to cut, not cut much bigger than the actual hole. I don't wanna make it any bigger. Just want to cut away that frayed part. Okay. So there's my new hole. Let's see. I think I'm gonna, you know what? I think I'm just gonna leave it like that, even though it's a little angled there. Okay, so I have this other pair of jean shorts. Um, they really don't fit me anymore. There's really nothing wrong with them other than they're too small, they're too tight. Um, they're too short for my liking. Um, they're just kind of out of style for me. Um, but I'm using them as fabric. So you could either use another pair of worn out jeans, something that's just not salvageable, Or um, you could do what I'm doing where you just kind of repurpose another pair of jeans. So I'm going to lay this out over the hole. And I think this little patch here will be good enough. Just kind of freehanding this, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. I want to cut this frayed edge off. Okay. Back over here to my denim. Okay, so that covers the hole pretty well. Um, I'm gonna roll the leg up so that I can have access to this hole. I can actually get to the hole from <laughs> this other hole. So that's gonna work out well. And I wanna put my patch behind the hole. I'm just kind of laying it flat. I'm sort of feeling with my fingers where the edges of this patch are. Could go a little more that way, let's see. So the patch, I can feel it is here and that's about centered. So I'm happy with that. I am making sure you guys can see. I'm gonna pin this but I'm gonna do my best not to pin it through the back of the leg, okay? Now, these pins 
are really hard to work around, you know, as I start sewing my patch um, in place. So I'm, I'm, the first thing I'm going to do is baste it. Um, you know how I taught you guys how to do the stay stitch on the sewing machine and how um, that stitch is just, it's the biggest stitch we can make on the machine and it's just to sort of hold the fabric in place. This is going to be the same, a basting stitch. There's no, um, there's no like uh, rhyme or reason to it. You know, the, there's, I'm just going up, down, up, down. Sorry, I'm tying. Whoops, I keep bumping the camera. Guys, I got to figure this out. Um, tying a knot in my thread. Threaded my needle, just a single piece of thread. And like I said, no rhyme or reason. I'm just going to start on the inside. Okay, I'm going to make big, wide stitches up and down just to hold this patch in place okay because I want to I'm going to be doing some finer stitches to it probably would have made sense to show you what we're doing <laughs> I'll show you after I base this in place okay so if I show you up close see these big like I said no rhyme or reason to it. This one got stuck behind a pin. I'm even going to just pull that out. It's just holding my patch to the fabric. So I'm just going up and down. So here's down and up. As you can see, this, this hole is helping because I'm able to slip my hand through it. Okay. All the way around. As I'm going around, just sort of slipping those pins out. Not pulling it too taut. I don't want it to distort my patch in place. I'm making these big wide stitches because if you remember my patch, I could feel it. The edges are all the way out here. So I don't want those edges, um, you know, curling back or getting in the way as I'm sewing the stitches that I want. Okay, and this is um, not the only way to mend a patch, but this is more of a creative way. Um, I'm not going to put a knot in this. I'm just going to kind of sew in place for a little bit because I do want to pull this out as I start to sew the stitch that I do want. Okay, so that's just, again, this is called basting. That patch is just basted in place. I can take all those pins out. And I'll show you this leg over here. This is what our, this actually isn't finished. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to even add to this, but this is what we're going for. Um, just a more creative, mended, sort of artistic look. Okay, this whole, again, started off like this one, and I cut away the white threads, cut more of a square, and then put a patch behind it, okay? So that's where we're at now with this. Um, what I'm going to do is I personally am going to take a contrasting color. It's okay if you don't have a contrasting color, right? We're working with the resources that we have. I'm going to take as long of a piece as I can because I actually want to quadruple this thread. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, so I have two ends here, and I'm going to do my best to thread both those ends into the needle. So I get them as even as I can, okay, 
with my three fingers, I'm pulling this tension of this thread down here in between my thumb and my pointer finger. And squeezing those two threads together. Okay. So I'm matching up the tails. Okay, right, so here's what my other end looks like. I wrap this around my finger loosely and I'm gonna roll them together to make that knot, okay? Easiest way to make a knot. You can't do it that way, that's fine. Just make a knot right one at a time but just try to get those two knots in the same spot okay so my needle has let's see if we can get the camera to focus in four strands okay with a knot at the end okay so i'm gonna start let's see here actually i'm gonna start over here so I cuffed it up so I could get into my pant. I'm finding that edge of the patch, my patch starting right about here. So I poke my needle up through. And what I'm trying to do, what I'm gonna try to do my best is, especially in this denim, here's a good one. We can kind of see the line and the weave. Right, here's another one. That's what I'm gonna be following to the best of my ability. It's not perfect. It's actually meant to be more um, creative, more artistic, more um, random. And I'm with my needle going up, down. Okay. See that? I've gone in up. I've gone down, up, down, up twice. I'm just going to pull it through. And I'm going to continue to do that. Now, as you can see, I'm going right over my basting stitches. What I don't want to do is try to put the needle in on that thread. As long as I sew around those stitches, which is easier than you probably realize, um, I don't have to worry about them getting in the way and I can take them out easily later. Now, my down up, down up, down up is a, about a quarter of an inch. I'm trying to keep all my stitches anywhere from an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. Okay. I'm gonna go down, up. Let's see, I wanna go, where's the edge of my patch? Down, up, down. Actually, I want to go, sorry, I'm at the end. The edge of my patch is right here where my thumb is. So I'm going to go down, up. I'm going to come out. I want to put one more stitch in, but I want to do this and come out the other way because this is the start of my next row. And I'm going back and forth and back and forth. So again, I'm about a quarter of an inch away. Okay. And now it might help. Right? I sew opposite of how I read. I sew from right to left. Okay, so I find that having what I'm sewing on the left while having my needle in my right hand is easiest for me. Okay, and I'm just doing that again. Down, up, down, up, pull it through. Trying to keep all those threads the same tension. Down, up, down, up. Okay, and we can already see that um, the edge of this sort of opening is a little sideways, but I wanna try to keep my lines 
as straight as I can. You can even kind of use the needle to project where you're going to go. So this row is going to come right to the edge of this opening. And that's okay. Up, down, up, down, up. We're sort of pretending like that patch really isn't even there. We're just sewing through all of it. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to start my next row. Okay, so let's do one more row. And then I'll show you what you can expect next. So down, I'm going to look for the, the weave in this patch. Okay, up, down, up, pull that through. You can kind of see there's a, a weave right here I can follow. Down, up, sorry, am I going off camera? <laughs> Down, up. It's like literally my, what, fifth or sixth YouTube video ever. <laughs> Down, up, down, up. This one I'm going to try to catch the down up. Let's see. Down, up. Try to catch the lip of that opening. Okay. Now I'm going to go down. I'm going to start my next row. Okay, flip my leg over, come in from the side. So I am kind of like inserting my hand into this leg, gathering it. So my, my hand is right here. Okay, you can see how it's the fabric wraps around it. And that's how I'm holding this to sew it. So I kind of gather it up and only keep smooth what I'm sewing. Okay. It's kind of another reason why we did the basting stitch because if all these pins were in this patch and we're trying to gather it up to sew, we would be poking ourselves. So I'm going to go down, up. I got to find a path to follow. This one might get a little crooked and that's okay. Okay, so where the patch is, I'm only going through this single layer of the patch, but I'm still, still sewing those, those lines. Up, down, up. It's a little easier because it's just one ply of fabric. Down, up. And let's see, we're gonna go like that. I'm gonna go down, start my next row. Okay, so we'll run this until I run out of thread and I'll show you how to tie it off. Nothing fancy. Okay, down, up. Okay, that one got a little big, that's okay. Okay, so this is probably about enough. Um, there's maybe four inches of thread here. This is a good time to start knotting it off. A lot of mistakes I see made, right? We try to knot it off when we have this much thread left and we can't get our needle into the loop that we've made. So you do want to give yourself a good um, three to four inches of thread. Okay, so I'm going to come up. Oops, <laughs> I'm gonna figure this out guys, I swear. Okay, here's where I've come up. I'm trying to get nice and close so you guys can see. I'm gonna take a little piece of denim 
right? I'm gonna pull my needle in. See how it makes that loop? I'm gonna push my needle through that loop twice and pull it taut. So grabbing that little fiber of denim in the beginning is what pulls my knot as close to the fabric as possible. Now I'm just gonna kinda tuck the tail away and cut it off. Okay? So you would keep doing that back and forth, back and forth, back and forth across the whole patch until you get something like this. Okay, so let me show you the next step. All right, so I'm gonna thread my needle again. Okay, so again, sorry, it's a little longer. It's taking a little longer than I thought, but I've got those two threads, okay? Actually, maybe I, what I should do is show you guys how to use a needle threader if anybody has one. And don't stress out if you don't have one. But if you bought a needle kit and it has one of these, this is a needle threader. So let me show you how to use it. You're gonna push, okay, that right into the eye of the needle, right? It's holding my needle. I'm gonna slip the thread. I don't even know if you guys can see that. There you go. Through that, okay? And I'm gonna pull it back through, all right? And that's how you use the needle threader. So if your needle kit, like my needle kit came with one, that's how you use that, in case you were wondering what that was. And now you're probably mad at me for not showing you sooner. <laughs> okay, so again, I'm gonna loosely twist this, wrap this, excuse me, around my fingers, and I'm gonna roll, right? When I roll it off, it makes a knot. Ideally, when I do that, it, it rolls through twice, but if it doesn't, add that second knot. Okay, here is kind of the fun part. Again, be creative with this. Um, I have another pair of denim. Why don't I show you what we're about to do and then you can maybe even plan. So I'm gonna go back vertically and I'm making these little crosses but I'm making them more sporadic okay I'm not doing every other one now if you wanted to do every single one you could this is the part where you can be creative about how you mend so you can make little cross marks throughout I don't know if I could do maybe I will try every single one just to see what it looks like Okay, so I'm starting, right, from one end. It's the same up and down. Okay, so I've cut, I've rolled my cuff up just like that other one. It's that same up and down. I think I am gonna do every other one. But this time I'm being a little bit more careful with that placement because I want it to come up and make those little X's at those exact moments. Now see how this thread, right? Let's say this, this is happening. This is what's going on to you, right? You're getting, your threads are getting a little unloose. You can just kind of gently tug at one, separate the threads, right? Gently tug at one at a time until you get them all back together. And then make sure you pull that all the way down throughout your needle, okay? So the same down up gives me those little crosses, those little plus signs, okay? Now if I wanted, 
right? If I wanted all of them to be little plus signs, when I get to the end of the row, right, when I get down here to the end of the row, I could go back up this same row. The rows are a little close together to catch every single one. So here's where we can go back around, right? So here I'm at the end of my row. I'm coming up right on the other side of it. And I'm going to turn right back around Actually, I'm trying to decide if I am. Let's see, is it too close together? Well, maybe not. I think it's going to be fun. Thread's getting, see how it's getting loopy? Here we go. Looks neat, huh? Happy little crosses. Happy little plus signs. And if you totally get that reference, you get bonus points. Okay. And I'm going to continue to do that until this whole patch is done. Okay, sewing is meant to be um, sort of zen-like can really let your mind wander as you're sewing. Um, I like to put movies on. I don't actually, like movies that I've seen a thousand times uh, because as I sew, I just kind of, I don't really watch. I just listen and kind of play the movie in my head, so to speak. You know, something that I've seen a bazillion times. Okay, so there's that whole first row. Isn't that fun? And I'm just going to keep going until it's done. All right, so this, again, this is one just sort of fun, creative way um, to mend, to mend clothing. You want me to show you? Sorry, I was going to turn it out. I'm like, I wish I would have finished one. I can show you this one again. So this one, the only difference is I didn't really cut out the hole. I just, all this fabric here was really weak. So I just made the patch as big. It's, it's again, it's another sort of worn out crotch thigh area. And then this one I did sporadic little crosses. And I think what I'm going to do, because it does sort of just end up in this spot, is I think I'm going to go over the whole pant in other areas you know, even where there's not holes and just sort of add this decorative stitch. Now you can get embroidery floss and do this, you know, in different colors. Um, but I want you guys to try it, okay? And if you don't have a pair of denim with holes in them, just use your sample squares. Cut a cut a hole out of one and use the other one to back it and and do do this stitch or make up one of your own. Make up your own stitch, okay? All right. <laughs> 